Praise the Lord and good morning. You join New Beginnings Community Church. Our pastor is Pastor William Be Beasley Sr. We don't own the rights to this music, but help us uplift the name of the Lord.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Amen. We thank God for another day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Thanking him for his goodness and his kindness and his mercy unto us. Thanking God for each and every one of you that is with us on this morning. We pray that the Lord will continue to be a blessing in your life. Yes. We thank you for uh, joining us this morning, New Beginning. We have another lesson uh, from the Word of God today. And by the help of the Lord and the power demonstration of the Holy Ghost, he said when two or three would gather together in his name that he would be in the midst. So we give honor into the midst to the spirit of Christ in our midst this morning. Yes. Give him all the glory and all the honor. Have your way in this place. Open up our heart, mind, and our understanding of your word as we are preparing to meet the Lord when he comes. Yes. But we know the Lord is soon to come. We can tell by the signs and wonders in heaven that he has left, he's given us yes. around the world as we know that the Lord is soon to come. Amen. And we want to be ready. We want to be found ready and during. And so we're going to pray and then we're going to get into our lesson this morning. Mm -hmm. Bow our heads, be gracious to Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus. We come this morning just thanking you once again for your tender mercy and your kindness. Thank you, Lord, for your unconditional love that you so loved the world. Lord, you gave your only begotten Son that as well we would believe it in him, would not perish, but have everlasting life. We thank you for your everlasting life. We thank you for mine to assemble together this morning in your name. We pray Amen. that your glory and honor we feel this place that your anointing would destroy each and every yoke, that you would give us our give us an understanding of your word and, and, and give us, Lord God, the hope. Give us an understanding of the hope of your calling. And we'll praise you and glorify you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Once again, we thank God for you, for each and every one of you. Uh, we have a lesson this morning to try and encourage the body of Christ this morning to encourage us in our spirit, our mind, and try to stay prepared for the coming of the Lord. And mm -hmm. We'll be coming out of the uh, first chapter of the book of Romans, dealing with uh, Apostle Paul this morning, coming out of the first chapter, the book of Romans, mm -hmm. and we'll be reading uh, verses 21 through verses 23. 23 is the only one on the worksheet, so we're going to go to the Bible and read the other two verses to set up our foundation, our understanding. Mm -hmm. I'll be reading the King James Version only this morning. And so uh, Romans 1 and 21, Scripture says, because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish hearts was darkened. 22. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. 23. Mm -hmm. And changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man, mm -hmm. and to birds, and to four-footed beasts, yeah. and to creeping things. 24. We're going to read 24 to throw that in. Wherefore, God also gave them a to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Mm -hmm. This morning, uh, for a thought this morning, we're going to take uh, change the glory into an image. Mm -hmm. Change the glory <clears throat> into an image. Mm -hmm. And so the, the, the admonishing this morning for <laughs> new beginnings, and those that hear the sound of my voice this morning, it is, it is not for us to change the glory into an image. It is not for us to change the glory of, of, of God. The glory, the scriptures say, the glory of uh, un, the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man okay. and birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. 
Now, that word, uh, that word changed as it pertains to this lesson we're dealing with this morning. It, it implies making either an essential difference, often amounting to a loss of original identity or a substitution of one thing for another. Change. And that word glory, as we deal with it in this lesson this morning, that word glory suggests to you and I uh, majesty, magnificence, splendor, brilliance, honor, grandeur, holiness, sacredness, salvation, deliverance, grace. And uh, so we, we, we know that uh, the glory of God, he said, and change the glory of God. And that word uh, majesty, we understand that majesty is to to uh, suggest, you know, royal power, divine power. Mm -hmm. We understand that God <laughs> is omnipotent. Yes. We, um, we understand that God is omnipotent. And so we understand his majesty is divine royal power, his, his glory. That's his glory. Mm -hmm. And that word image is, uh, it suggests to us column, stone, likeness, uh, idolatrous figure, sculpture work, uh, something fashion, a representation of the external form of a person or thing in art. And so here the word of God is uh, here the word of God is admonishing you and I and trying to give us an understanding. Verse 21 says, because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. We have to understand that uh, <laughs> because we know God, mm -hmm. because we we know God, we have been baptized in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. We have been filled with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And so this epistle is addressing same conduct. Right. And so he's not talking about strangers. He's talking about people that know God. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. He said, because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain, became vain, became uh, futile in their thoughts, imaginations or thoughts. And their foolish hearts was darkened. 22, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. 23, focus verse. It says, and change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man and to birds and to four-footed beasts and to creeping things. Now, they took the glory, they took the glory, the, uh, the, the royal power, the divine power, the brilliance, the splendor, all that God is. They took, they took that the, and, and and God is, uh, God is uncorruptible. In other words, God is, is immortal. He's undecaying. He's everlasting. Yes. He's, he's not, the, script, the, uh, the, the suggestion is he's not susceptible to corruption, right. especially by bribery. Right. Uh, he's honest. He's, he's not subject to death or decay. Amen. Mm -hmm. He's imperishable. He's indestructible. Now they took the glory of an uncorruptible God, a God that delivered them, mm -hmm. a God that had established them, a God that had uh, spread his love on them, a God that has created us. Yeah. This God, uh, we, we, have to, we have to understand that our uh, scripture says, our, our uh, vain thoughts 
Right. He said, in their vain imaginations, in our vain thoughts, it says, it, it, they became foolish mm -hmm. and heart, and our heart was darkened. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. In our futile or in our vain thoughts, our hearts uh, become dark, darkened towards God. Mm -hmm. and, and, and he said, and professing themselves to be wise, he said they became fools and, and changed the glory mm -hmm. into an image. We have to be careful. We have to be careful. And so uh, and they changed the glory into an image of corruptible. And corruptible, uh, they took the, 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 the glory of God, the, the uncorruptible glory of God, mm -hmm. and they changed it to corruptible, uh, perishable, mm -hmm. not lasting, dishonest, or fraudulent conduct by those in power, typically involving bribery. Okay. They took the glory of God, the, the glory of a uh, uncorruptible God, and they have made, <laughs> they have turned it into an image mm -hmm. of corruptible man. And an image is something fashioned. An image is an idolatrous, an idol figure. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. We have to, we have to look. We have to search our hearts and our thoughts, our minds, mm -hmm. and, and be aware that we're not taking the glory of the uncorruptible God and all that he is and changing it to images. Amen. Because we all, we all, have, the, we all have these things uh, that we do, and we esteem them. <laughs> we, <laughs> we esteem them real high. We have to be careful. We have to be careful that we're not taking the uncorruptible glory and turning it into image, to fashion things, into a <coughs> perishable things, the things that that are have idol idolatrous figures, they, the things that have become idols of uh, objects of worship. We have to understand. We have to understand the the warning yeah. until the until the believer. And so, uh, twenty four says, wherefore. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. 25, I'm, we're going to read on down. 25, then we'll get in the lesson. Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. 26, Amen. for this cause, God gave them up unto vile affection. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Mm -hmm. 27. And likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust one towards another. Mm -hmm. Men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense or that payment of their error which is, is fitting for them, which is meat. <clears throat> 28. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind, a, a, a disqualified mind. He gave them over to a, a, a disqualified mind to do those things which are not convenient. 29, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whispers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents without understanding, covenant breakers without natural affection, <coughs> implacable, unmerciful, 32. <laughs> okay. Pay attention. 32. Who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Knowing the judgment of God. 21st says, because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. Well, because we know God, we understand the judgment of God. We understand that the uncorruptible glory of God is, is, is sacred, is holy. 
And so to know that and to, and to, and to do these things, it is to change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image, a, 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 a corruptible image of man. And, and, and as we go, and as we went on to read, uh, these that were professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, and God gave them over to their vile affection. He gave them over to, to their, their thoughts, their, their thoughts, to where they, they uh, departed from the natural use of woman, and, and man with man, and, 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 and woman with woman, he gave he gave he gave them over in their in their thoughts and their imaginations to a reprobate mind to a mind that's disqualified to a mind that's that uh, can't can't discern can't discern right from wrong now and he goes on and to list all of these things all of these things that he that he listed backbiters uh, fornicators maliciousness covetousness all of these things. For us that know God, all of these things change the glory of God. Yes, it does. Come on. <laughs> if we are practicing these things, then we have changed the glory of God. Amen. We have changed the majesty of God. We have changed his royal, his divine power. In other words, we have said God, God had, cannot deliver. He cannot deliver us from these things. The scripture said, "Becoming wise uh, in our own thoughts, mind." We have to be careful when we make comments and statements like, "Well, I don't see nothing wrong with that." Uh -huh. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. We have to be careful to make these when we make these statements that, "Well, I don't see nothing wrong with this," especially when it's the lust of our thoughts, mm -hmm. our mind. Our hearts, it 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 changes it changes the glory of God because God's glory demands sacredness, it demands holiness. God's glory <laughs> is uh is magnificent. Uh, we talking about the Creator, the one that said, "Let there be," and it was. How can we change that to the vile affections of our thoughts? And so we have to understand that uh, that that God is is not with that, and and and, and, our, and there's a danger for us if we change the glory of God. Now let's get into the lesson. Deuteronomy, <laughs> Deuteronomy four, Deuteronomy four, four fourteen. And so we're gonna go back to. We're gonna go back to to the children of Israel and uh, see how the Lord felt about His glory. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy four, verse fourteen through verse twenty. Verse sixteen is what's on the worksheet, but we're gonna start at verse fourteen and read to verse twenty. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy four and fourteen says. And the Lord commanded me at that time to teach you statutes and judgments that ye might do them in the land where ye go over to possess. This is the Deuteronomy. This is the generation. This is the second law, the second reading of the law. This is the generation that was born in the wilderness. The generation that was delivered out of Egypt died in the wilderness. So he's the second reading of the law, he's, he's letting them know again, look, and, and the writer Moses said it, and the Lord commanded me at that time to teach you statutes and judgments that you might do them in the land where you're getting ready to go. Yes. 15. Take ye therefore good heed unto yourself, for ye saw no manner of similitude on the day that the Lord spake unto you in horror out of the midst of the fire. You see nothing like that. Mm -hmm. 16. Lest ye corrupt yourselves and make you a graven image, the similitude of any figure, likeness of male or female. Now, I'm, I'm not <laughs> trying to throw shade, but, the, but uh, we know Israel 
came, but, well, not necessarily Israel, but we know those, some of Israel, I guess, but we know those in, in Ephesus, they worship the goddess Diana. And right. We know there are those that honor Mary, real, still Mary real high. And so uh, we are not to worship. He said we are not to change the glory okay. of the uncorruptible God Amen. into an image. And, and 16 says, <clears throat> the similitude of any figure, the likeness of male or female. 17, the likeness of any beast that is on the earth, uh -huh. the likeness of any winged fowl that it flies in the air. 18, the likeness of anything that creepeth on the ground, the likeness of any fish that is in the water beneath the earth. 19, and lest thou lift up thine eyes unto heaven, and when thou seest the sun, and the moon and the stars, even all the hosts of heaven, should it be driven to worship them. We're not supposed to worship the sun, the moon, none of that. Right. Uh, and serve them, which the Lord thy God has divided unto all nations under the whole earth. They, 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 are, uh, they benefit the whole world, but not to be worshipped. Right. And verse 20, but the Lord has taken you and brought you forth out of the iron furnace, even out of Egypt, to be unto him a people of inheritance, as ye are this day. We are not to change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image of any sort, man, woman, beast, moon, sun, star. <laughs> Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church, because we, there's, there's, you know, Christians or believers or whatever you want to call them, and you know we have our things that we we worship and esteem and honor and things that we do, but we're changing the glory. That stuff, that the bottom line is, that stuff did not deliver us. That stuff did not atone for our sin. That stuff, that stuff did not. Well, let me get into the lesson. <laughs> uh, Psalms, Psalm 106, Psalms 106, verse 19 through 21, Psalms 106, mm -hmm. moving a little closer, <laughs> Psalms 106, mm -hmm. verse 19 through 21, I'm talking about changing the glory, changing the glory of God to the image. Period. Psalms 106, verses 19 through 21. Verse 20 is what we want out of it. Psalms 106, 19 says, They made a calf in horror and worshiped the molten image. Thus they changed the glory into the similitude of an ox that eat grass. Hmm. 21. They forgot God, their Savior, which had done great things in Egypt. 20, 22. Wondrous works in the land of Ham and terrible things or awesome things by the Red Sea. 16 was what we, uh, I'm sorry, 20 was what we want. Thus, they changed their glory into the similitude of an ox that eateth grass. Thus, they changed their glory. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. <laughs> Thus they changed their glory. Remember we just read earlier that they were an inheritance to God. Mm -hmm. They were heritage to God. Right. So they changed, we change our glory. Oh. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. We change our, we are, since we are God's inheritance, since we are in, in, uh, heirs of God, and we are joint heirs with Christ. We change our glory. We change our glory from uh, an uncorruptible to an everlasting glory. For, woo, and we and, and uh, uh, in, um, what you call it, uh, imperishable, imperishable glory to a perishable glory. Mm -hmm. He said, and, and, and here they made they changed it to uh, the image of an ox that eat grass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Jesus. Woo! He said they changed their glory, their glory. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. We have to remain 
the, her the, the heritage of God. We have to remain in the glory of God. That's why the Bible says we are saved by grace. We are saved by God's divine power, his glory. We cannot, we cannot lose faith and understanding and, and at some point come to think that my vow uh, thoughts and inventions are the scripture we read or we're going to read says art, man's art, is what delivered us or what saves us or what keeps us. Amen. Mm. And we're not supposed to liken it to any male or female. Keep on pushing. Come on. Isaiah 46. I think this is all on the worksheet. Isaiah 46, 5 and 8. Isaiah 46, 5 and 8 says, To whom will you liken me? This is, this is the word of the Lord. To whom will you liken me? And make me equal. And compare me <laughs> that we may be like. Come on, somebody. Who 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 are you gonna compare God to? Right. Who are you gonna compare God to? To yourself? Because we 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 get ourselves in trouble most of the time with our vow, <laughs> lust, affections, and our thoughts. And we compare. We compare our thoughts to God's thoughts. We take the word of God or the glory of God and we consider our thoughts. So then we change, we change the glory. Amen. Matter of fact, he said we've changed our glory yeah. because the word of God is our glory. Yeah. It is, it, he sent his word to heal us. To, oh. mm. So we take the glory of God, the uncorruptible God, and we change it unto the perishable or the corruptible thoughts that we think. Mm. And so he said, to whom will you liken me to? Who do we liken God to when we say, well, I know what God say, but this is what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. make, and who do we make him equal to and compare him to? He said that we may be like. Verse 6. They lavish gold out of the bag and weigh silver in the balance and hire a goldsmith <laughs> And he made it a God. Mm. Keep on reading. They fall down, yea, they worship him. In other words, they lay prostrate. They fall down flat, they lay prostrate, because that was big back in them days. That's how they worship. They lay prostrate, flat, before their face down, before, you know, that's how they worship. He said, they fall down, yeah, they worship. Verse 7. They bear him up. They bear him upon the shoulders. They carry him and set him in his place. Mm -hmm. And he standeth from his place, shall he not remove? He can't even move. When you set, when you set your God, at, he can't even move. Oh, <laughs> Hear what the Spirit has said to the church. This is because he has, we have been given over to our vile affections, oh, our vile yeah. imaginations. We don't even understand. Uh, the reprobate. We don't understand. Our mind is disqualified. We're carrying our God. And then we carry him somewhere and set him. He can't even move. And then we lay down in front of him and worship him. Mm -hmm. oh, Listen to what, hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. And then, and then he concludes to say, yeah, one shall cry unto him, yet yeah, he cannot answer, nor save him out of his trouble. Remember this, and show thyself men, or show thyself courageous. Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. Right. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the, to the church. He said, you cry out, you cry out to him, yet he cannot answer you, can't answer you. Nor save you I out of our troubles. But we have change the glory of God into this image. Mm. This image that cannot hear you, cannot save you, cannot deliver you. And yet we worship it. He said they fall down and worship. Then we have to get up and carry it. <laughs> <laughs> we have to get up and carry it wherever you're going. 
and set it somewhere and it can't move. It can't move. It can't hear you when you call. He said it can't deliver you out of your troubles. But yet we have changed the glory right. to the image, to the to the image of our vile thoughts, but we because we esteem our thoughts so high. Right. Our thoughts will never compare to the thoughts of God. Amen. Because God's glory is uncorruptible. It's unperishable. It's undecayable. It's unbribable. It's not susceptible to bribes. It doesn't change. It's everlasting. It's undecaying. He said, heaven and earth will pass away. But my word Never. So, if we understand the fact that God is the Word and the Word is God, then why do we change the Word? Amen. Or why do, why do we change the glory into an image? Any kind or any sort is an error. It's, it's, it's wrong. Male, female, beast, moon, stars. We heard, we read that. Uh, so, yeah, those of us that uh, what you call that? Like to follow the uh, zodiacs and all that type of stuff. <laughs> that that don't that don't compare to the glory of God. Amen. That none of that stuff. That's because of your or my vile thoughts, vile imagination. That's not acceptable to God. That's just mm -hmm. our vile thoughts, yes, imagination. We have changed His glory. Mm. Yes, it is. Jeremiah 2 and 11. Hear this. Jeremiah 2 and 11 says, Has a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods? He, he telling his people, he said, Look, the nation, they don't change their God, which are no gods. They don't change them. He said, But my people have changed their glory for that which does not profit. Here we go again. Have changed their glory. Mm. He said, "Has a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods? Oh, the world, the world, <laughs> the world has not changed their gods. They're not going to change their gods." No. He said, "But my people have changed their glory. We are here, but by the grace of God." Yes. We are here but by the glory of God. Hear what the Spirit is saying to us. Amen. He has redeemed us. Mm, he has called us out. He has set aside, set us aside. He has saved us. He has atoned for our sins. And we set aside our glory. He has delivered us yes. from the wrath to come upon these unrighteous men. He has yes. delivered us. And yet still, because of our vow. Uh, lust and our uh, thought, lustful, our vile, lustful thoughts. He said, We have changed our glory mm -hmm. for that which do not profit. It does not profit. It does not profit. It does not. What the scripture says, What shall it profit a man if he gain his whole world and lose his soul? Or uh, what can a man give in exchange for his soul? There's nothing. When we when we change our glory, <laughs> we have changed our salvation. We have changed our help, our deliverance. We just read what he said. They they cry out to him and he can't hear them. Their idols, their images. He said he they, he can't. Their image it can't save them. No. And when they get through, then they got to get up, pick it up, and carry it with them wherever they go. Mm -hmm. Not understanding that <laughs> we have been given over to a reprobate mind. That's that's a vow. You got to carry your God. You you lay prostrate in front of him. Mm. We we not, we don't we don't understand. That's why it's important that we not say make these statements that we make. You know, we don't understand what we're saying when we say these things. Mm. Amen, amen. Come on, man. At 17 and 29. <laughs> For as much then as we are the offspring of God, as much then as, as 
the prior scriptures have said, as we are the glory of God. Mm. As much then as the prior scriptures have said, we change our glory because we are the offspring of God. He said, as much then as we are the offspring of God, we are not to think, once again, that vow thought, imagination, those vow <laughs> imaginations. He said, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. As much then as we are the offspring of God, mm -hmm. we are not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver mm -hmm. or stone graven by art and man's devices. Go back up to your description and understand the difference between glory and image. He said, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like an image is something fashioned. It's, it's in sculpt, sculpture work. Yeah. It's likeness. It's a representation of the external form of a person or thing in art. These things that we promise up and down by to steam us or make us something. Yeah. It just proves that we it just proves that we are operating in our vile imagination. Yeah. Hear what the spirit is saying. Because we can't change our glory. We were saved by the glory of God, by yeah. the grace of God. Hear what yeah. the Spirit is saying. These things don't make you or I. Mm. But yet we, we chase hard after them. We even encourage it. That, oh, yeah, get the gold, get the silver, get all that. For what? Mm -hmm. What you going to do with it when, when, you, when your heart's give a beat? Say, yeah. Lord, take this gold. You can't take it, but you No, you can take this gold and fix my heart. You can't change nothing for that. Last one, I'm going to let you go. <laughs> First Timothy. First chapter, verse 17. Paul, dear Paul, now unto the king eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Yes. We admonish you and encourage you this morning not to change your glory to an image. Mm -hmm. Not to change your glory to an image. Not to change the glory of the uncorruptible God that redeemed you for a, a corruptible, perishable image that can't save you, can't hear you, cannot deliver you, <laughs> but just prove the fact that you are functioning or operating in the, in, the, in the vile affection of your lust and your thoughts, a reprobate mind. And uh, we shut the book, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to open my book. You don't have to open your book because we, we read Romans, I'm back in Romans, our original place. We read uh, from 21, we read the first chapter of Romans from verse 21, and we read down to verse 32. Verse 32 says, who knowing the judgments of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Now let's go to chapter two, let's continue in chapter two, verse one. It says, therefore, thou art excusable, O man, whosoever thou art that judges. For wherein thou judges another, thou condemnest thyself. Mm -hmm. For thou that judges does the same thing. Mm -hmm. Does the same thing. Hear what the Spirit is saying. Verse 2. It said, but we are sure that the judgment of God is according to truth against them which commit such things. Verse 3. And think it this. Think it thou this, O man, that judges them which do such things and doeth the same, that thou shalt escape the judgment of God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, he says, verse 4, or do you, I'm sorry, don't say you, it says, or despise it, 
thou the richest of his goodness and his forbearance and his long suffering, not knowing, you know, you don't understand, and not knowing that the goodness of God leadeth thee to repentance. So when you find when you when you when you find people that has given up the glory and have changed it to uh, a corrupt a corruptible image, pray for them. Yes, amen. Pray for them because you don't you you and I don't understand the judgment of God. The judgment of God is according to truth. Or do we despise the fact that God is long suffering? He's forbearing, knowing that the goodness of God leadeth to repentance. Yes, this is what this this is what church is all about: coming to repentance. Yes. Not becoming wise in our own foolishness. Not Amen. becoming wise in our own deceit. Professing that we know God. Oh, I know God. I know God. First mm -hmm. mistake. First mistake. Because if you knew God, then you know the judgment of God is true. And God is a savior. Yes. Amen. And so though, uh, though we were we are all, the world, we are all in a fallen condition as humanity. Yes. He redeemed us. He redeemed us. And by the grace of God and his forbearance, his long suffering, and his goodness, we can all come to repentance. Amen. So as it is always, we encourage you to repent of your sin, be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of them, and allow the Lord to fill you with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Let us pray. Be gracious to Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus, we come this morning thanking you once again for your tender mercy and your kindness. Thank you for the word that we have heard this morning as you prepare our hearts and minds for your return, that we would be ready, that we, we would await your appearing, that we would await your glory, Father God, we ask that you would move on each and every one of us under the sound of, of the voice, Lord God, according to your will, according to our needs. And we'll praise you and glorify you. And it's in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We pray that the Lord will bless your heart and mind. If he has moved upon your heart to be a blessing and you would like to give to ministry, you can give to set New Beginnings Community Church, Lamore, California, Giblify. God bless you. Amen.